In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to perform the legs only dead bug. The legs only dead bug exercise is a fantastic exercise to develop anti-extension, or more specifically, the ability to resist extension of the lower spine. This is a really useful postural exercise to help develop abdominal strength, and this will have a transfer into many movements both on court and in the gym. The legs only dead bug is performed initially by lying on your back with your fingertips beneath your lower back. Your fingertips placed here is going to help you maintain a very small natural arch in your lumbar spine. The key here when doing this exercise is to avoid compressing your fingertips, but at the same time avoiding overextending or producing a large arch in your lower back where you lose contact with those fingertips. You're going to place your thighs perpendicular to the ground. So your femur bone or your thigh bone should effectively run from six to 12 o'clock or from the floor directly upward to the sky. Your knees are gonna to start together, your ankles are gonna to start together, and your shin bone or your tibia is gonna be parallel with the floor. Prior to starting the first repetition, you are going to brace your abdominals hard with the aim of resisting extension or arching of the lower back. You are very, very slowly going to lower one leg at a time until it's fully extended and your heel is elevated at approximately one inch above the ground. At this point, you should feel your back want to arch, but you're going to do everything you can to prevent that from happening and maintaining that good postural position. You bring that leg back to the start position before commencing the same movement with the next leg. You're going to perform this exercise in an alternating fashion. So you will complete the repetitions prescribed within your program with the left, then the right, then the left, then the right, until you've completed all of the repetitions prescribed. It's key here to do them incredibly slowly. Me personally, I would rather you do fewer reps, but slower tempo and higher quality than try and rush them and try and get through those repetitions as quick as you can. You won't get as much benefit doing it that way. This exercise can be progressed slightly by having the thigh in a slightly different position at the start of every rep. As opposed to having the femur or the thigh bone running from six to 12 o'clock or from the floor to the sky, you can move your knees slightly further away from your chest. Maybe five or 10 degrees is just enough or a couple of inches of movement is just enough. And this will increase the intensity of the exercise or the burning sensation felt in the abdominals when trying to resist that extension of the lower back. I must stress the slower you do this exercise, the better. I hope you find this in I hope you found this video interesting. I hope you find the exercise itself useful. Please do hit the subscribe button below and also the bell icon next to that so you get notified of our next release.